It's a beautiful afternoon and it's actually beginning to feel quite springy already and there's even some blossom appearing on the trees which I was quite surprised to see considering what it was like a couple of weeks ago. Instead of sitting around eating hot cross buns I thought I'd come for a walk down by the river and photograph a couple of things I've photographed before actually. I mentioned in a previous video about planning my shoots uh, that I often come to a location more than once before I get the shot that I'm after. And I think it's very easy to visit a location once, either decide that you've got the shot that you wanted or that you didn't get a shot at all and you just never return. But if you come back to a place again and again, you get to see it in different lights and you can photograph the same subject in two different circumstances and it can be a completely different image. And just up here there's a tree that I want to have a look at today. Here's an example of seeing something that you might have photographed before and looking at it in a different light. Uh, quite literally, in fact, this tree over the other side of the river here. Uh, when I was here a couple of weeks ago, uh, with the angle that the sun was, it was just illuminating some of the small twigs that were uh, crossing diagonally, but only in one direction. And so it gave this incredible kind of almost rain effect, but in the bright sun. And it's doing something similar now, except the, uh, the angle that's being lit is almost uh, straight down. So I might just try and get another shot before the sun moves over, before I move on down the river. So I got all set up and I took my shot but uh, the effect is nowhere near as pronounced as it was when I was here a couple of weeks ago. And it just goes to show what a slight difference in angle of the sun can make to an image. But I think now I'm going to move on further up the river because there's something else I want to photograph as the sun gets lower in the sky. I've made it to the second place I was going for, but I've completely missed the light. I've really misjudged it. The sun's uh, not gone down yet, but it's gone behind some clouds and there's some trees in the way. <clears throat> but it's this magnificent pine tree that's behind me. And it's such an interesting shape. And the composition that I had was the pine leading off to another tree in the distance and then the wooded hill that you can see in the background there. But uh, when I arrived here, there was just a tiny little bit of golden light at the top of the tree and um, and yeah it just doesn't make the same shot but again I've captured an image now just so that I can show you a comparison and just so you, I can emphasize what a big difference lighting and timing can make to, uh, to you visiting a scene and whether you get your shot or not. I figured that being as though I'm here now, there's one last place that I'm going to walk up to now before I lose all light completely to see if I can get a shot there today. So, to be perfectly honest, there was absolutely no chance I was going to make it to this scene before the sun had gone down and I lost it a few minutes ago behind Didcot Power Station there. 
but you might recognize these trees from a previous video of mine where I came here at sunrise and if you haven't seen it already then uh, I'll put a link up there you can go and check it out of course this video wasn't really about me getting any portfolio images or any great shots it was really just about coming out and having a look at the places I've seen in a different light and it's not until you do that, until you visit a scene again and again, that you do start to appreciate how it looks in different lights. And it's too easy to show up to a location that you might have even planned for, and the conditions might not be exactly as you'd hoped, or the sun might be setting behind somewhere that you hadn't really planned for, and then the light isn't there, or the, you can't find the composition, and you can go home frustrated, and then you may never visit that location again. But what I wanted to make a point of in this video is that if you do come back to a location again and again, you start to learn those nuances or you get to learn where the sun's going to be. You get to learn what it looks like when it's laying on the land. And it's then you can come back and get the shots that you want. And of course, it, a lot of it comes down to luck too, because when I came here a few weeks ago, I didn't plan to shoot that tree down by the river, but I noticed it as I was walking past but I saw the branches lit up and they stood out to me. And so I composed my image around what I saw then and there. And yeah, and I got a shot that I'm really pleased with. And this time I come back and I take a shot of the same tree. The light is very much different, even though it was a similar time of day. It's just a few weeks later in the year. And it's not a shot that I'm completely happy with. So it's nice to travel around to place after place after place and get new shots in different places. But for me, I don't really get the shots that I'm really proud of until I've seen a place and photographed it several times. So this is just a tag on to a video I made a few weeks ago as well, actually, where I was planning for uh, my bluebell shoot, which will be in a few weeks time. And again, if you haven't seen that one, then go and check it out. It's just a bit more about how I plan for a shoot and the things that I do whilst I'm out looking for shots. So thank you very much for watching and, uh, and please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and also leave a comment. Let me know what you thought, of course. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. And in terms of other social media, I, uh, I keep my Instagram account updated regularly. So if you don't follow me there yet, then please do. And I've got Twitter, which I am working on. And I've also signed up to the, uh, to the, uh, the social media platform of contention, Vero. So if you're on there, then find me. I'm David Dixon on there and you should recognize my face. But for now, I have enjoyed watching the sun go down as I came up here. Uh, but I'm getting hungry, so I'm going to go home for tea. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. And by the way, uh, before I go, I just wanted to say that I'm going to be at the photography show at the NEC on the 17th and 18th of March, just visiting like you. So if you are there as well and you see me walking around, then come and say hello, introduce yourself. I'd love to meet some of you guys. Thanks.